Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Insomniac Scott Selections here for Saturday, July 6th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a loss in baseball with the Red Sox first five. Team total over one and a half runs, a minus 125 on ESPN bet. Kind of a summary of how we've been running lately. The Red Sox went under the first five team total, went over the full game team total, and won the game. So we picked the one bet for the Red Sox that actually ended up losing. Uh, but the point is the Red Sox only scored one in the first five. Had some chances, nothing really that was that, I'd say, strong. It wasn't like a blown opportunity, but the point is the Red Sox had some guys on base, couldn't convert, Nestor was pretty solid, and then the bullpen eventually blew it, but that had no effect on us. So we the loss there, look for a winner here on Saturday. For the actual play, though, do remind me once again that we have more picks on the Winners Wanted website, so don't forget to go to the website, and you do, use the promo code L9. KYW S40 to 40% off. Code is also in the description. Plus, a reminder hit the like button, subscribe to the bell so you get notified and you'll never miss an episode. Now, for the actual play, going to baseball once again, going to look at a matchup, a late night game between the Diamondbacks and the Padres, taking place at around 9 40 p.m. Eastern Time. And for this game, we're going to go with the over seven and a half runs at minus 110 on DraftKings. Time recording of 4 a.m. Eastern Time. Covering why we're going to go with the over in this matchup. First reason, both teams offensively have actually been pretty good this season as the Diamondbacks are averaging 4.86 runs per game, which is seventh most in the league. And you're looking at the Padres. They're averaging 4.68 runs per game, which ranks tied for 11th in the league. So once again, both teams have been solid so far offensively as a whole. Arizona, though, has been in great form offensively lately, as they have scored at least five runs in five straight games. And Arizona has been involved in a lot of high scoring games lately. Eight of Arizona's last 10 games have had at least nine runs. Now, we only need eight in this game. Uh, but they have had at least nine in eight of the last 10 games. So that being the case, the pitching staff has not been very good. The lineup's been solid. And I think that combo should result in at least eight runs in this game. Now, the Padres, I mentioned before, they've been in good form too offensively this season, but they've been really good at home lately. Uh, the Padres have scored at least five runs in eight of their last nine home games. And each of San Diego's last nine home games have had at least eight runs. So once again, another team that has been having a lot of high scoring games recently, this time at home. I know Petco Park's known as being a pitcher-friendly ballpark, but not this year, as San Diego's offense has actually been better at home than on the road. But going through the pitching matchup here, you have Fod pitching for Arizona, who so far this season has been kind of up and down, but he has faced the Padres twice this season, and he's not been very good. 11 and a third innings, 19 hits allowed, a 6.35 ERA. And Waldron's pitching for San Diego, who was in great form for a couple of months, but he was really underwhelming last time out, and he started two games against Arizona this season, not that good. A nine innings pitched, 11 hits allowed, and nine runs allowed. So both starting pitchers have had multiple meetings against the opposing offense so far this season, and neither guy's been any good, not to mention Arizona being solid offensively lately, scoring five-plus in five straight. San Diego's been good offensively at home, scoring five-plus in eight of nine home games. And with that being the case, and the two pitchers not exactly faring well against these offenses in the past, I think seven and a half is too low. We also saw both bullpens really struggle in the game on Friday. So the bullpens could, in theory, blow it to but 7.5 does seem a bit low. I think each team could potentially reach 4 in this matchup, which would automatically get you to the over. But I do think you're looking at a spot where this total's a bit low, so I am going to go with the over. Split it once again here for Saturday, July 6th. It's going to be on the Diamondbacks and Padres game over. 7.5 runs at minus 110 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.